Hello, yes, I'm recording Game of Probes vs. Zealot 2 here. Well, actually not a game. I'm uh, playing a replay file that's been sent to be by a player who wanted it recorded as a demonstration of good gameplay. Um, so I'm going to record it through, and uh, if it was any good, I'll uh, upload it. Um, let's start. <coughs> Watching this game from the perspective of Hats. I suspect he doesn't like it when I call him Hats. Miku. I'd soon meet you. There we go. Walk to from this perspective um, and see where we go from there. Playing it at normal time. Um, playing it at normal time, mainly uh, rather than speeding it up, I was dumb. I did consider speeding it up, but I thought I'd play it at this speed so that anybody that wants to follow along and use the timings from this game to practice. Um, I might put on faster, because I think faster is a default, not normal. Um, use the timings from this game to practice their own early builds, then they should be able to do that by watching the video. If I was running it faster, that of course wouldn't work. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Something a bit odd, ob odd obviously, as uh, this S115 probe goes up against a, a zealot by the name of Stampede, who's an S46 zealot. One would not expect an S46 zealot to uh, be standing around here wondering what the hell's going on. But it's obviously decided to die. Why is that? Why has this zealot decided to die? I don't know. Alright, we're obviously going to uh, try again and play another game then. Alright, let's see who we get a zealot next game. Oh, I know. They want to play it 1.5 times. That's what they're wanting to do. So they've killed off the first game, going for a faster version. Gim, 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 gim. Let's see who we get. Obviously a full lobby, 14 players. Oops, missed a gas pellet there, got another one there. So Hatsune Miku here is clearly running the board looking for gas pellets to pick up. Um, fairly typical build for a pro player. Constantly running around without chrono looking for um, gas pellets for early build. You can get enough gas pellets in the early build. It is a far faster build than um, being static and using chrono, which uh, many other players do. Early, early gas is more valuable. Obviously, you've got to have the micro to do stuff like this, though. Build on the move. It'll be interesting to see what time he gets. Um, anything 1.5 times, anything better than 13 minutes is a good time. Um, an excellent time would be under 12 and a half minutes. See how he goes. Let's see what others are doing there. You notice this is another attribute of uh, pro players is uh, there's none of this early basing and let's go and uh, keep a fearful eye on my generator. I don't think uh, Miku here has even looked at where his generator is recently. It's up in the top right hand corner in case you missed it. Far more interested in uh, building on the move whilst looking for gas pellets. Yep, 
It's a bit too early. Sorry, a bit too. One, 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 what am I trying to say? One unit too high up the ramp is what I'm trying to say. Now we should build four simple miners here, I think, possibly five. Four is usually pretty good. Yep, there we go, four simples. Get the simples. Simple, yep, four simples. And that's the zealot there, after the five minute mark, checking the gold base to see if anyone's based up in gold. And the zealot will have decided that no, they haven't based in gold. Everything here already sold, okay. <coughs> Four K is it? No, two K. Two K. Well, that's interesting. I would have bought more mineral, more miners than that. Let's we'll see how that goes. The crash there, trying to trap the. Now, just so you understand what's happening here, the zealot is beating away at Miku's generator here when he's basically not caring. The zealot being an S50 whatever has probably gone, oh no, still attacking, probably gone back to his home, about to go back to his home to, uh, I might just take a look. Um, no, not yet. How, how are we going here? 500, so the Zealot's not going to beat that down. I think the Zealot will run home and get more damage, is what I think will happen here. Yes, teleport has happened. Zealot has teleported home. Miku's going to be a smart ass and come in and repair his generator. <laughs> Gutsy move. Gutsy move. Yeah, Zealot's got much more damage. We'll see how it goes. Of course, you'll notice here that um, <laughs> another generator repair with a void. Oh, he lost his. Um, so why didn't he put eight then? Because he lost his market. That's why. One of the um, tricks I try to encourage new players to do when they um, are wanting to learn how to play well is build without walls, i.e. practice building God knows where on the board where the zealot can freely get to you. If you do that, you very quickly learn that it's actually highly unlikely, especially for a novice zealot, highly unlikely that the zealot will come to wherever you happen to be building at any given point in time. And if you can manage your vision properly, um, you'll have plenty of time to escape it, even if the result does come after you. <coughs> now what's he doing? 12.48, so that's a pretty good gen max time. Pretty good indeed, especially on one and a half times speed. Why are you putting a max gen back in there? Hmm, okay. That's probably just for the unpredictability of it. Zealot will not expect that Gen Max to be in gold. Zealot will expect it to be hidden in a corner somewhere. Somewhere unlikely. I suppose that's just as unlikely a place as any. What are we going on our timings there? What are we building? <coughs> Depots. Fourteen thirty for the first VSP. Wow! All right, this is going to be a fun game. Fun game indeed. I can see lots of train races coming up. 
frame checking. Who's that, Emil? Hey, Emil. So we've got one ultra miner over there. Rebuilding the generator again. Yeah. <coughs> I presume the generator got killed there. It's the only reason to build the wall is so that you can rebuild the gen. No, oh, is that two ultra miners there? I c couldn't quite tell. Let's go back and have a look. Why can't I zoom in? Hmm, okay. Nick is obviously going to play this game out of that train. Stay permanently mobile with train, which is fair enough. Probably load it up with some simple miners in a minute. Who gens that? Another ultra miner. Oh, let's come back over here. That's Heldrick. Pink Panther. So, a comment about simple miners. It's becoming a fairly popular trick for good players when they're running uh, chasing games like this one to load the. Um, train, Dominion Train, what it's called. Load the Dominion Train with the low value units like this. Let's have a look, I reckon that was Simple Miners going in then. Yep, there we are. Um, and the only reason for that is so that when the Zealot hits the train, um, obviously all the Simple Miners will fall on the ground and it gives the probe another couple of split seconds in order to get away from the Zealot because the Zealot will attack any other unit first before it hits the probe if the zealot is in unfocused attack mode That's another pink panther one where's the rest of yours miku where are you putting your ultra miners when i'm not looking given that i'm showing the vision here of the probe um, it will become fairly obvious to you all that in fact the probe is at least partially playing, Miku that is, at least partially playing by the minimap and not necessarily by exactly what um, he, I presume so he, um, I'll make that presumption for the moment. Um, not but only partially by what he's actually looking at and at least partially by what's going on on the minimap. And yes, that noise you can hear outside is the wind and the rain. I don't have any crypto miners running at the moment. The place is silent. It's quite amazing. So the background is in fact the rain and the wind hitting the windows. And the blinds starting to flap. Where are we up to? You can see Miku there must have his four ultra miners already, although I didn't quite see where he put them. Um, got easily enough for a legendary miner at this stage, but of course uh, won't do that. He'll be saving for a perfect. First perfect, and uh, first perfect's going to be late actually. It's going to be closer to 28, 29 minutes. A fast perfect miner would be around the 26 minute mark ish. Inside the 26th minute. Um, well, moderately fast. A really fast one would be 24 minutes, but oh no, we're not going to get a really fast one, obviously. Who's that being out, out duked by the. That was Heldrick, was it? Being out duked by the zealot there. 
come on, speed him up. The job of probe spirits at this stage of the game is to chrono the trains to help them get away from the zealot. So if you're ever at this point in the game watching and you're a probe spirit, that is your job to position yourself in locations where you do not auto chrono the miners, auto chrono the miners, but where instead you chrono the trains to speed them away from the zealot. That was um, Emil doing that job over there, although he mistimed it. Um, one of the early ones, chrono it a bit too early. And then uh, didn't have it left when the Dominion train really needed it. But doing the right, right thing anyway. Quarter of a million. That Zelt's doing an awfully good job of killing all the um, mines around the place and destroying the feed. He's not getting it all down, but. Seems to be doing a reasonable job anyway. Who's this over here? Skype IP. Is that what I saw here? Skype IP? Base. Skype Base. WIP. Uh, well, I want to click on that one. <coughs> Post 30 minute perfect miner. Quite late. But. Feeling S56 zealot. Can't expect to get an early perfect against an S56 zealot. I'm just trying to think. Stampede the zealot is a rename of. Somebody, I'm just trying to think who it was. Might have been Protoss, actually. No, not sure. Um, I might check later. That's a replay. I can't do that. All right. Yeah, not sure who Protoss was a rename of. Stampede was the rename of. Is that what I said? Alright. Now, where do you put that perfect? I didn't see where it went. Missed the first perfect. Oh well, I was talking about something else. Twelve k. Hmm. Zelt's still ahead. Um, I estimate the Zelt's still ahead at this stage because the Zelt damage per strike above ten thousand, with only one perfect that I know of on the board. Um, it's one of the other rules of thumb I use as to. <coughs> how the zealot is going. If the zealot has got 10k per strike per perfect, then um, the zealot has been keeping up. Less than 10,000 damage per strike per perfect minor that the probes have on the board, then the zealot is behind or feeding too slow anyway. Not a lot of silence in that rule of thumb, just experience. There goes the generator again. I'm very tempted to make a rule change in this game where the rule change is if you don't have a generator you can't use ninja. Um, thinking about it. So 
So see there, Zolot now striking at 32k, which means any probe with three perfect miners is current con is current with the Zolot. So that's probably Hatch's second perfect up there, I think. Might be his third. Not watching closely enough. Be able to tell in a minute when he kills off all these simple. Uh, well, he's got five sim four simple miners. Four simple miners, four ultra miners, so that's therefore his second perfect. Four simple miners in the train, of course. Bad positioning, well, unlucky positioning, not bad positioning. Lost his third perfect minor. So that might have been Hatch, that might have been someone else. Just lost the perfect minor that was killed in here. Oh, there's Hatch's third there. No, still second. 10, 10, 10, 10 units. Why is he not making more perfect minors? Really? You're going to go for ludicrous minor? Oh no, you are making more perfect, that's alright. I thought you were going to go for an early ludicrous minor then. Much luck there with the perfects. Don't know who that one was. I think it was, yes. Down to 10, hey? So who's this? That's a soul of gold, is it? There you go. He's full on, full on perfects and ultras, carrying them all. I'm assuming here that uh, Hatsune Miko is the hero of the game simply because he's the one that sent me the replay. And there's 100,000 damage for the Zealot. Was that a teleport before? And got two Vesp. <laughs> this is a neat trick here if you uh, know how to do it. In fact, it's a necessary trick with a lobby like this to win. Um, boots obviously give range and detect. You're running with boots and a ring, obviously it uses up a slot in your um, inventory, but you get the range vision range bonus of both the boots and the ring. Quite necessary to be able to see trains properly in a game like this one. This game is uh, going quite interestingly. It's going to be pretty tricky. Oh, no, only 30 mil. 31 mil. Um, I was going to say pretty tricky for the probes to win from here with 100,000 damage. Um, but we've got the first ludicrous miner out. Um, and that's most of the feed gone now, so 
was going to say probes are going to be really hard pressed to win this, but most of the feed's gone, so it should be okay. <coughs> There's the Luddy, the Ludicrous Miner. The most annoying thing ever for Zealots at this point in the game is this little trick. If you watch it, the Zealot there zipping back and forth, cloaked. It's now rushing around the other side trying to get in and failing. Careful, the Zealot will come back. I oh know, gave up on playing that game. Gave up on playing that game. Or maybe not, maybe it'll come back again. Yes, now, how's he going to do this? The only way that the Zealot can ever win this is by tricking the Ludi somehow. Can't actually outmaneuver got it cloak at the right time and trick the probe into into thinking the zealot's left is usually the best trick oops not what you wanted to do there that's like oh frack the zealot's getting fed Now it's getting, getting interesting because uh, Hatch has got to worry about his own life. Miku, that is. As well as keep this bloody safe. Although he's got enough money to buy it. Got enough money to make another ludicrous miner. Oops, here we go. Aha, faked out. Gotcha. All right, Thanks. and there's a rebuild. Thanks. So obviously the plan here is to rush the final turret instead of building masses more eco and masses more miners so he's going to leverage the ludicrous miner alone to try and rush a final turret i think it's the only way this is going to play out from here because he's not building any more miners and he's not building any more eco That zealot's got to be really dangerous. 55 million feed. Hmm, can he do it from here? I'm just trying to think the math through. I think he can. I think he can. I think he can. As long as nobody builds a wall for the zealot to feed at, he should be right. Who's that? Um. Probably not strong enough. Oops, solid gold's gone. Wasn't watching there what happened to solid gold. He obviously got trapped somehow. Halfway to final turret. Decided the why are you making a uh, yeah you're definitely going to rush the final turret because you're getting all of the merc upgrades hold it was that you building i know it's pink no it's one or two was that one's pink panther i saw being built there Wow, <coughs> that's interesting. 
that does that require the zealot to have dropped his extra ring? Let me just see. No. Uh, 1.5 times, that's how he's done it. Okay, alright. Who goes it? Don't know, bloody, don't know whose ludicrous minor that was. Look who's st is still there. Sixteen million mins, hey? Close now. Base. Got um, Miku can stay alive long enough and then get himself positioned at a good base. base. Got it Ideally, he'd want the bottom mm, top right hand corner, top left hand corner, or bottom left hand corner. It's probably the best. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Any of the corners, any four corners. Oops. There goes Pig Panther. I think. Oops. That will have alerted the Zealot. That mineral, mineral shield over the minerals there um, will probably this one here will probably have alerted the zealot to the fact that the ludicrous miner has mined at least 10 million minerals because that's the 10 million mineral mark when the field gets respawned um, so the zealot's probably very worried at this stage that uh, the final turret can't be very far away ah there we go he's gone bigger boots good move for the zealot nice big boots Where are you going? Top, top left. Yep, good enough. Top left will do. Go on, you can do it. Build your final turret. <laughs> Let's play the ludicrous dance again. Hmm, didn't care obviously. You gonna build this turret or what? It's obviously not top right then. Ooh. So dangerous. So dangerous. Wow, come on. Timing. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. Yep. Magic. Magic timing. Do you have the time? Oh, oh. yep, that was gone the wrong way. Good. You can do it. Come on. Final. Zealot is fed. Ooh, Zealot has final blade. You need more than just the final turret. Here come all the probe spirits. So that should be game over, man. Zealot needs about another 45, 50 million feed to be able to uh, beat this config. Not going to get it. There's not enough feed on the board. Keep your head out of your sticks. Oh, what? They shouldn't have been able to kill the 
Is that what must have put down the fee down his um HP or shield or something? Dark grey, he's dark grey. Alright, well there you go. Pink Panther. Hmm. Alright. Thanks for watching. That was a uh, pretty decent game. Hopefully anyone who wants to uh, use the early game timing will be able to use that to practice 1.5 times build for a sub-13 minute Gen Max is a good build, a good result. And an interesting late game there too. Thanks for watching. Bye.